what we're doing here is showing how to uh, repair a very common problem people have when they first set up their uh, Shopify sites with products that have different sizes or different colors. So the confusion comes between the concept of an option and a value. Now the option is the size. It's not size 78, it's not size 90, it's not size 50. It is the fact that this thing has options and the option is size, not color, not fabric, but size. So we're going to edit our options here. We'll get rid of these two just to clean it up. Size, we'll say the default size is small. We'll get rid of that option and we'll save. So if you had size and color within the same product, you would say that the two options are size and color, but this product just has size as an option. Now that we've done that, we can go through and add size and small is, which is what I should have said there is, let's go back to our list, 50 by 50. And price is 145. Great, so hit enter and that will update. And actually, let's go back and edit our options. Oh, that's done it. Okay. And then what we'll do is we will edit the, the details for that. That's the price. Charge taxes, yes. Uh, we've got an infinite supply of these, so we're not going to track inventory. Um, and this product requires shipping, so that's great. So if we'd changed anything, we'd save. We haven't needed to here. And it's saving. Once you've got that all set up correctly, what you can do is go back and then simply select here and duplicate it in another size. So we'll say, uh, go back to our list. And that has a price of 285 and then we will enter to save it and we will once again make it in another size Let's copy it from my list copy our price uh, that's that one there. Now it's also useful to, to know that you can do bulk actions on these. So let's have a look at what all the bulk actions are for the ones that you've selected. You can delete them. You can change their prices. Um, you can say actually... I don't, I don't want to let them um, go out of st I want to actually control the stock level, um, and that sort of thing. You can also reorder them. So you can say, actually, this is the bigger one. It should go there in the list so that they're arranged neatly in the drop down. Um, and then we'll save our product and look at it. On the screen. Ah, now, as you'll see now, you get to choose from the drop down, and as you choose from the drop down, you'll get the different prices updating up here. But the thing we need to do now is go back in and actually update the title because they aren't all 50 by 50. And we'll do that there. And once again, we'll view it on our site. And there it is. Now, the other thing that we just want to be careful of is to make sure that in all cases we've selected a product type uh, because that will affect what collections this goes into. So armed with that information, you should be able to update the other products so that the variants uh, are priced correctly.